So I just got done watching The Batman, and I have never reviewed a superhero movie like this before on my channel, ever. And, you know, I felt like this was a long time coming, because I had never seen one that just really captivated me before. And before this movie came out, or as this movie was coming out, a lot of my close friends are telling me, like, this one's different. I think this is the one you like, Christian. Because to give you the slightest bit of backstory for me, I'm a casual fan of these movies. I'm not really into it that much um one of my biggest problems with the previous run of batman films i had with the batman begins dark knight and dark knight rises was while i'll agree that the joker character heath ledger played was fantastic my big issue was with the editing in those films i'll never forget watching batman begins and there's a scene where liam neeson is fighting batman and it's edited so quick the frames are cut so fast i literally couldn't understand anything that's going on and all of a sudden, Batman's on the floor, and Liam Neeson apparently won this battle. And that really soured me. That was something I just wasn't into. Because the kind of action movies I've always been into were films that are choreographed. Kung Fu, martial arts movies, stuff that you can see on screen. There was a Marvel movie called Shang-Chi that I actually enjoyed because it really replicated that style very well. As a matter of fact, looking into who made that film, it was very authentic. Uh, so, finally, I got to see The Batman. And I guess I should just give my opening thoughts. I really liked it. So, you know, going into this movie, I, I had high hopes because the people that told me I, I was probably going to like it, they, they were right. I really did like the Batman. Uh, let's talk about a few of the things I like and I'll talk about what I think some of the cons are. Because I do think that there are a few cons. First of all, the sense and, and feel of this movie is just impeccable. Um, I will say that I can already hope and pray that the 4k for this movie is going to be done extremely well because this movie is so dark this movie is shades of gray in more ways than one too the lighting everything the cinematography the composition of this film is so moody and bleak and i just loved it the music actually absolutely added to that feel as well this whole movie had this sense of foreboding that was I mean, it felt like a horror film. I feel like I'm reviewing a horror film because of just the sense and tonality of this movie. I quite frankly wasn't expecting that, especially when I look at the scope of a lot of what these superhero movies are and what I see. I just watched Spider-Man No Way Home and it was the most colorful, fun movie ever. I loved it. But this is something that is way up more my, my style and, and up my alley. Um, so that was really great. This movie was dark and I felt like it treated the viewer like an adult. This felt like a Sega Genesis kind of movie in the sense that like this one's for the cool kids. This one's for the for the the older kids a little bit. The tonality of it was just so so great. And I like that even like the, the whole plot of the film. It's again going back to Shades of Grey. You've got vigilantes going after people who were destructive to the city behind the scenes all while batman is trying to stop the vigilantes who are trying to stop the people who were destructive behind the scenes the whole complexity of it was something i really enjoyed i can't comment on what the comics were like i can't comment on what the feel of those movies were like back then all i can say is that i really enjoyed what i saw i think i've seen every batman film besides batman vs superman again i'm very casual i'll see them once or twice and move on and none of them grabbed me and stuck with me the way this one did. Uh, Robert Pattinson as well. He was great. I love the fact that I'm, even me being a casual fan, I don't want backstory. I don't want to know how he becomes Batman. Nobody, excuse me, I shouldn't speak for everybody. I don't care. I assume a lot of you have probably seen it and, and gone through it, read about it, watched it in older movies, so let's just get the show on the road, so to speak. And this movie did that. We got a lot of great stuff right up front, and Batman is Batman in this movie, or excuse me, The Batman. Uh, so there's a lot to like about this movie. The music was great. It felt like such a dark, foreboding movie, and 
You know, the action scenes, I was really happy with the action scenes. They definitely choreograph some stuff. They work some stuff out. It's in camera. You see the sequences of fights. It's understandable. It's digestible. And that's always been my biggest pet peeve with movies that contain action. I want to understand what I'm seeing. But when you cut, 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 when there's seven cuts in a second time, like I saw in some of those previous Batman films, I just can't stand it that's my biggest thing so i'm i was very happy that this movie did not do that that was lovely so um in terms of what's in the movie itself i really can't complain i thought everybody was great the penguin character was awesome there were familiar faces that i'd seen from movies growing up and i really enjoyed the riddler the only thing about this movie would be interesting is on rewatch will i enjoy it as much because taking the journey to figure out what's going on and who the riddler is leading us to was something that was really enjoyable but will it sustain on a rewatch knowing what the movie is now i can't comment on that yet but that's something that's interesting uh, so again there's a lot to like about this movie i like the introduction i guess of the catwoman and they never really even call her catwoman which i kind of liked it's just like you, you, the viewer's intelligent. You can figure it out. You know exactly what's going on. Um, and, and again, Robert Pattinson was fantastic in this movie. Um, I liked his voice. I was never a big fan of the Christian Bale voice. I thought it was a little too much. I thought this one balanced it out much, much better. I just liked this Batman film a lot more than any other Batman film besides 89, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. I love that one too. Which one do I like better? I don't know. That's hard to say. That's really hard to say because uh, I think this is the best Batman film I've ever seen. Um, I, and maybe a lot won't agree with that because I this isn't my forte. This genre of movie is not my forte. All I can say is the type of movie I enjoy, the type of feel I like in films, this one felt so tailor-made for me as opposed to some other styles that maybe millions of others would prefer the, the opposite way. So... Uh, I really like this film. This is certainly the Batman film for CHH, so I, I'd have to I'd have to give the film two thumbs up at the end of the day. A lot of everything I saw in this movie was great. So the only con I have for the Batman is it's long. And I guess that's not a negative in the sense of, you know, uh, the movie felt boring to me or anything like that. It's just... I mean, I couldn't imagine having to see this in the theater, quite frankly. I'm glad that I waited for come to HBO because I had to go to the bathroom a few times. I'm having something to drink. I'm drinking coffee or Diet Coke, and I've got to go to the restroom. I can't imagine how many bathroom breaks I would have needed if I would have seen this in the theater and what I possibly would have missed, especially when the Riddler is giving out riddles to where Batman has to try to lead to next. It would have been a nightmare for me. So uh, that's the only thing. Of these, these length of these movies... They're a con for me to want to go to the theater to see it, which subconsciously was a big, probably a reason that I never ended up going to see this in the theater. It's just, it's so long and you can't pause a movie at the theater. Uh, but I guess when you don't watch very long movies that often and you prep yourself and you let yourself know, hey, get ready, you're about to watch a three hour movie or whatever it was, you can kind of just ease into it and just deal with it. So that's really my only gripe is this movie is long. <laughs> I was never bored or, or, or just ready for it to end, so to speak. The sequences were great where Batman is chasing the penguin and the, and the car crashes and the wreckage was amazing. There were so many beautifully shot sequences, harrowing sequences, but it was long. Uh, so I guess that's really my only gripe. Uh, the, the Batman is the superhero film for me, so to speak. I just really loved it. And I'm anticipating seeing what you guys think. It was interesting because a lot of the... Before I saw the movie, in the theater, people were telling me, Christian, this one's for you. And I posted a little while ago on YouTube, on my community tab, that I was watching it right now. And uh, half the people didn't like it, they said. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting for me to hear more about uh, you guys' opinion that are into this genre of film a lot more than I am. And see why you may not have liked it, etc. But uh, I, I gotta say unequivocally i adored this film i thought it was amazing and i loved everything i saw on screen and the sound of the movie was great too so i'm going to give the batman two very enthusiastic thumbs up for me and while i'm not over the moon to hear that there's more quite frankly because again this isn't my forte of genre 
I gotta say that I did love this movie, and um, I, I don't doubt that whatever Pattinson does next with the character would be great. I just hope that they don't brighten the shades of gray for this movie. I'd rather them keep it dark and ominous like they did, because it really worked for me. But, with that being said, we'll end it here. CHH reviews The Batman, and I give it two thumbs up.